this is not a spring chicken. Yes, I know. Can you feel that fall is in the air? One of the things that always happens in fall time is the elections. And it was such a big election day yesterday that, did you forget about it? Well, here's one of the things is we have a big election and nothing really changed. I guess some other people forgot about it too. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And American Catholics prepare for a new translation for Mass. Oh yeah, we, you know if they don't, what it is is they're um, they're losing people that are coming to church, so they're they're going to probably get, you know, like be Papa Bailey, the Lord is maybe Christ is gonna be here. Oh today. come on! <laughs> no, that's the truth. Are you serious? No, they're gonna they're gonna you know uh, you're gonna be doing you know like Whoopi Goldberg and you know. You know that's going. You know, like the like the evangelists are doing with their churches. That they, you know, that they got because we got to get those young people in the church. That ain't gonna work, folks. Because they don't come to church to hear music. Only, okay. I, I want to put it. I, I like years ago. I mean, I knew Pat Robertson when he was younger, and Pat Robertson put it this way. He said, if we have to start looking like we're them to get people to come in church, we've lost the battle. Mm -hmm. And Judge, okay, it's $410 million settlement in Bank of America lawsuit. That's why they didn't put the $5 fee on the, on the cards. It had nothing to do with hearing from the, um, from the people that use the debit cards. It has to do with the fact they just got hit with a $400 million settlement over debit cards fees. What? Yeah. It seems that they were, that uh, if you went over, you know, they were hitting people by, uh, for extra fees on how much you went over. Mm -hmm. The more you went over, the, the less opportunity you were that you had a fee. The late, if you were like, you, if you were over by a buck, they hit you with a fee. If you were over by $10,000, they ignored it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so they uh, were sort of, they wanted you to spend money. If you didn't spend money, they hit you with an extra fee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And parents warned about used mail order chicken pox lollipops. Okay. What in the world is that? People, okay, people with, uh, with okay, they're, they're making, I mean, like you've got lollipops in for Christmas, for uh, Halloween. They're being made by people that are not handling the things in a, and, a safe method because out of this country we don't have uh, control on stuff so people are not vaccinated out of this country for diseases and they're bringing them into the country in candy now. Are you serious? Yeah. They're calling it mail order chicken pox lollipops. Well, yeah, that because you disgusting. basically you order these things, um, okay, what happened is companies are ordering a, a wholesale or something through the internet now. And they don't, there's no quality control because they're coming in from China or Pakistan or someplace. Oh. And parents of missing Washington boy had been cited before. They generally are. I mean, generally, <laughs> that's the way it works is people that tend to ignore their children are constantly complained about. And the more you complain about it, the less they pay any attention to their children. Oh, uh, well, is that like the boy that cried wolf? Yep. An agent charged in killing was in Hawaii for economic summit. You believe that? <laughs> I mean, you know, there's something. Uh, what happens is, is that you got to understand. Good people do bad things. Bad people do good things. This was a guy working for the government that basically did something bad because somebody pushed his button. Oh, he really did. Yeah. Oh. One of our, one of our, um, our security people just simply went. He just went over the, the hill, and killed somebody. Ooh, and. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi anti-abortion personhood initiative defeated. Yeah, what happened was, was that um, that, that they pushed the but they pushed it too far. They made have they made uh, having birth control pills a, a, a death def offense. If you took a birth control bill, you were killing an egg, and therefore it was a criminal, you know, first degree murder. Oh really? Premeditated. Well, it went down. Uh, okay, here's the thing is. If Republican women came and revolted and voted for Republicans, Republicans would never lose office. But they what they generally don't do is they don't vote if they don't like what's going on. This well, time, there's the problem. This time they got really pissed off at this 
You mean if we, you know, 18 year old, I take a pill so that I don't get pregnant when I'm doing what all the other girls have been doing for 5,000 years, I will be sentenced to the death chamber, gas chamber? And said, yeah, well, guess what happened with that bill? Mm -hmm. Lots of young people, you know, and older women that basically have been taking birth control pills for like 30, 40 years, they sort of all voted against it. Uh huh. Um, Republicans and Democrats split governor races in Mississippi and Kentucky. Well, what it is is, okay, if you were a Republican governor before, you got reelected to a Republican governor. If you were a Democrat, you got reelected. If you were a Democratic mayor, you won re-election. If you were a Republican mayor, if you were being recalled, you didn't get, if you were a Republican got on a recall, you didn't lose one single seat yesterday, folks. No. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. It's just, uh, you know, absolutely, it was, it was uh, an election where nothing, they just wanted to, okay, it, it, but what, this is what one of the smarter pundits, not most of the Republican pundits or the Democrats, but some of the smarter independents said, it means what they want is gridlock. Mm -hmm. They figure as long as they're gridlock, they're not spending money and they want them to stop spending money. Mm -hmm. And survey sexual harassment for pervasive in grades 7 through 12. Oh, Christ. I mean, okay. Uh, I, 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 I'm a little bit older than most of you people out there. This would have been sexual harassment. Okay, when the girl's wearing the little, the, the wearing their little gym outfits and she falls and her butt shows and they, hey, hey, look, she's got whiteies on. That then becomes sexual harassment today. Mm -hmm. If they see the little seven-year-old's white underwear. That oh, really? I, 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 okay, um, I'm, I'm a teenager and I'm making movies and you know surf and sand stuff and you, the girls would run by and they grab the guy's swim trunks and pull them down and in retaliation the teenage boys would then grab the girls tops and start throwing the tops around to one another that would get you thrown in the jail cell today and strong earthquake rattles japan and no tsunami concerns well yeah well the problem is that um, japan is known as a land of earthquakes to begin with most of the time nothing happens Unfortunately, there's that every now, every once so often that it basically just, it, everything builds up and it just happens. Intrigue and betrayal in Rome as a Berlusconi fights on. Well, you know, he's basically getting ready to leave office, which is making no difference because the Italians aren't making any, okay, only Wall Street is going up in a horrible time. Nobody has any money in the world, and yet they keep acting like, you know, we, tomorrow, they're going to order a billion dollars worth of new inventory of HP products, and that will boost the sales price. So let's go up. There's no order for HP products. Mm. And Syrian forces kill 13 at start of EID Arabs to meet. Yeah, well, what's going to happen is the Arabs are going to meet and say, shame on you. <laughs> but they're not going to do anything because uh, the, the, the difference is this, this Syrian army is very loyal to the family that runs the country. Because, and they, they're still the generals in charge. And they will simply, uh, these are people with nuclear weapons, folks, and all kinds, and Air Force, they will fight. And it was, which is why there's no Arab uprising working well in Syria, because when you've got a dictator that wants to hold his ground, he ain't gonna move, especially if he's a young dictator. And Best Buy to buy a car phone out of U.S. venture source. Yeah, what happened is um, Best Buy is eating a billion and a half dollars to close down a venture that they did with this company. I, I don't understand that. Obviously, they know something we don't. Uh, I mean, okay, it's basically, okay, Best Buy is going into a whole different, okay, they're heading more into their own branded material and they're heading into video rentals, uh, online video rentals, and they're doing their own, I understand they're going to have their own branded cell phone coming out shortly. Oh, really? Yep. And is student loan education bubble next? Yeah, because not if Obama gets his way. We're just going to forgive a trillion dollars in money that these kids owe. Uh, that ain't going to happen. That, that was another one of his executive orders that's going absolutely nowhere because uh, that, that, this was his whole plan. This is why he incorporated student loans under the government's banner so that basically he could decide what to do and not. Unfortunately, he doesn't control the purse strings. He can't get it through the Senate. The Senate is not, okay. Not one single thing that Obama had done by executive order is going to be funded because the Senate won't even bring it up. Oh, really? Because there's no money for them. And the Senate considers aid for jobless vets and contractors. Okay. 
there should be no job as vest because the law is very specific. You have to hire the person back for the job that he left when he had to go off to war. The government, though, there is a law about that. Contractors are not going to get any money, period. That's not going to happen because the government itself will admit you have to have seven trillion dollars for infrastructure repair. Oh. And Obama's planning 30 billion. That won't even, well, it might work on Sepulveda. That's probably what they're spending on Sepulveda. To put pavers in for sidewalks. Ooh, animosity bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, anyone can do the simple things, but it actually takes work to do the difficult.